Hey everybody, Jim Edwards here, and welcome back to the Sales Copywriting Content Marketing Hacks Podcast. I'm your host, Jim Edwards, along with my trusty co-host and podcast producer, Mr. Stu Smith. Welcome, Stu. Thank you, Jim. And today we have podcast number 176. Now, how many people do you know have done 176 podcast episodes, Stu? Not a lot. Yeah. You got it. You know what you got to be? Consistent. Consistent. <laughs> Jinx. Which, post, post. if you are trying to build traffic, I personally think consistency is the number one rule of the game. Be consistent. I agree. With some good to, content. Absolutely. Do you want me to break down content? Do you want me to break down traffic for y'all real quick? Everybody Let's thinks that it. traffic's really, 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 really complicated, and it's not. I'm gonna bust Let's this out for you real, real quick in under 10 minutes. Traffic. Oh, let me get my big, let me get the big block. Duplo size. Traffic equals eyeballs. That's all it is. And if you're doing it right, it's targeted eyeballs, meaning it's the right people seeing your stuff. Now, if you start thinking about targeted eyeballs of your target audience, it's like, oh, that makes sense. Traffic is just getting the right eyeballs on my content. So two things about content marketing you need to understand, all right? One is it requires consistency. And the cool thing is that it builds over time if you do it the right way. So you're not gonna just do one content piece and then be done. You know, like Stu teaches everybody, you can work out once and then you're, you're fit for life, right, Stu? That's reality. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Once a day, maybe, but not once. Yeah. Consistently so, once. Yeah, consistently once a day. All right. That's consistent. You only got to work out once a day. So there are three ways to get traffic. The fastest way is to buy it. And that equals buying ads or doing promoted content. That's the that that in a nutshell is it. You either buy an ad or you pay somebody to promote your content either with a promoted post or by buying ads for your content or by paying an influencer or whatever. Borrowing is potentially the fastest way to get a whole lot of exposure because borrowing is basically either affiliate activities or trades. So I go to somebody who has 100,000 on their list. I offer them half the, the money for the sales of any products they make. They mail it out to 100,000 people. I make 10,000 sales, give away half the money, great day. And people are like, you would give away half the money all day? There are people that are, that are bragging about their, oh, my Facebook ads, I got a 1.2% ROAS, which means you spend a, a, a buck and you make a buck 20, all right? I can spend nothing up front and I make 50% where you're making 20%. So who's the smarter guy? You pay up front to maybe make 20%. I pay after the deal is done and I get to keep 50% and get a brand new customer. So borrowing is how you can do huge amounts of traffic really fast, basically risk-free. And then build is ultimately where you wanna get because this is traffic that you control with your own list and with your own following. So this is ultimately where you want to be. This is where everybody everybody builds up all kinds of excuses like, well, I don't have a list. Fine, go find somebody who does and make them an offer they can't refuse. Bring so much value that they can't help but promote you to their list. Happens all the time if you do it right. But most people don't. They immediately default to the let me make the little redheaded monkey on Facebook rich by paying for Facebook ads. And the problem is, is that paying Zuckerberg money for ads is getting less and less and less and less effective, more and more and more and more expensive. And it has the highest amount of risk. Not saying you shouldn't do it. But what I'm saying is, if I had to start all over again, this is where I would start. And this is where I started. Go find somebody. The most profitable deals I've ever done have been joint ventures and affiliate deals with other people who already had my audience. And all I had to do was just bring the value and piggyback. 
And then what happens is when you do these types of traffic, these people automatically are going to come over into your list and you're building customer lists, hyper-focused lists of buyers that ultimately long-term are going to be worth a ton of money to you. So this is traffic. So, so how do you buy traffic, borrow traffic, or build traffic? In the end, and the, the key here with building traffic is to build a relationship with your list. Okay, how do you do all that? By having amazing content. Whether it's amazing content in the form of videos or ads or webinars or interviews or, or listicles or graphics, having really good value for people that is targeted to the avatar. Okay, and that's your sweet spot. Value for the avatar. People will beat a path to your door. Now, it's not like that secret book that Rhonda, what's her Facebook, where it was like, believe and receive, believe and receive, believe and receive. It never worked. A lot of poor people living in a refrigerator box still waiting to believe and receive. You got to get out there and do the work. You got to get out and, and help out in groups. You got to contact people. And here's some no's. But all it takes is one yes to wipe out every no. Yeah. So you get out and do the drill, do it. Keep doing it consistently. Keep up in your game with the quality of the value that you're bringing. Making offers and just doing the drill. But this is this is it. This is this is traffic explained. That's it. It's simple. Sometimes people confuse simple with easy. Sometimes, I mean, when you get down here, you think this is easy, not just a different set of problems. But ultimately, it's worth it. Because what's the alternative? Sit on your ass and don't make any money. Sit on your butt and get no followers, get no leads, make no sales, don't build any relationships, be bitter, upset, angry all the time. Basically living the entire left side of this list. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. This is this is what you do if you're not out there buying, borrowing, and building. And yeah, if you're like, that's... I don't have a list and I don't have the money to buy ads, great. Here's your whole universe right here. Your whole universe. And I did that in 10 minutes. Any thoughts on any of this, Stu? No, that's, that's really good. I, I was thinking that thinking is not the same as executing, mm. right? So you, yeah. you can think about it all you want. You can be over there on that left side of that list like you just mentioned, and then you're not going to see the right side of that list till you start executing. That's consistently. Consistently. Got to do it. Just do it. Even if yeah. you, you're thinking, eh, this is okay. Let me just try it. You know, I, I had the entire household – go against me when I said, you know what? I'm going to start a TikTok page, right? And I saw- Even your posting. daughter? Even your daughter? Yep. She was like, yeah, you're going to do one just teaching people how to do the combat swimmer stroke? Uh -huh. <laughs> I said, yep, that's all I'm going to do. Because I needed a one-stop place that people don't, like if you go to YouTube, there's 500 videos over there, right? If you mm -hmm. got to sift through- podcasts and exercise videos and live Q and A's to find a swim video. That's a little annoying, right? I mean, yeah, you can find channels and do all that stuff too, but even that's another step. Whereas you just go straight to one channel now and it's just a bunch of me voiceovering this content of people submitting these videos for me to review for them. And, you know, that, that was back w whenever I first started, Everybody was like, yeah, this isn't going to go very far. That's kind of a waste of time. You really need to diversify your channel, all that stuff. I was like, no, I'm just going to do this. And I have already outperformed everybody that told me, no, don't do this. Like I'm up to like getting closer to that 10,000 level followers on TikTok. And all I have done is just post submitted swim videos. So, um, 
do you have a whiteboard on the fridge that every day you update your TikTok followers? And, and <laughs> no. whenever any of the family comes in, you're like, in your face, take that. Yeah. I mean, I will say I had to learn from them what TikTok even was. Right. You know, so there was a level of open mindedness towards, OK, this TikTok may be of value. Right. right. Everybody's on it. Right. Let, let me see what this is all about. And then I noticed I could do something specific that my audience would enjoy yeah. and need. Yeah. And, it, and it was easy for me. Remember the old days when you had a video that you had to do voiceover on it and then you had to put it on the Internet? Good yeah, Lord. Even, yeah. The that amount was all, of that was all afternoon. The amount of software and machines and time spent on that process yeah. it's out of control yeah. this is an easy button if you have videos yeah. that you want to share i mean you can do it on tiktok you can do it on instagram reels really easy so really so easy. here's so here's easy how we're content. gonna absolutely so here's how we're gonna draw this to a conclusion traffic getting eyeballs on your content's a big deal Starting next month, not this month, but starting next month inside of Content Marketing Scripts Premium, Stu and I are going to start once a month. We're going to be teaching traffic with content. We're going to be doing trainings. We're going to get real specific, real granular. We're going to show what we're doing, show what Stu's doing, and we're going to help you use Content Marketing Scripts to help drive traffic. If you are not yet a member of Content Marketing Scripts, you should be. However, before I stick my foot in my mouth, have we opened it back up for people or we have not? Okay, so what y'all need to do is keep an eye out because we're also introducing new technology into uh, Content Marketing Scripts. In the next couple of weeks, we're going to be doing a, another webinar where we're going to be showing that new technology and uh, we're going to have a couple of different uh, levels inside of content marketing scripts, all kinds of cool stuff happening. And when you see that, you're going to want to be a part. And one of the things that we're adding is every month we're going to be teaching you how to use content, specifically content marketing scripts, to drive traffic, to get more leads, make more sales, and build stronger relationships. But we're going to be showing you specifically how we're using content to generate and drive traffic by borrow, build. And we'll be showing you from our businesses. We'll be bringing in people who are making it happen. And uh, it's going to be amazing. And quite frankly, that one show a month will be worth 10 times the cost of content marketing scripts. So just giving you all a heads up. I'm Jim Edwards. Stu Smith. And we'll see you next time on the Jim and Stu Show.